Hey, how's everyone doing? Okay, I'm just making another uh, update of my tank. It's been a while, a bit overdue, sorry. Uh, so, I brought the uh, Green Star Polis back in my main tank. I put them on the ground so they don't spread all over the rocks. Anemones is in this tank as well. So I brought it along with the rock it's on and if it starts moving towards the corals I'll just flip the rock. Uh, I had some corals bleach out but they're recovering like, like this little guy. Um, this one that started bleaching out as well. But it, they're recovered. This one's doing awesome. That one, a uh, little branch broke off and I glued it back in place, but the branch didn't do so well. And this one has two branches that are bleaching out. I'm not sure if I should trim it or what. This is a new piece I've added. Only ten bucks, so this one's doing really well. So. Oh, little mushroom floating around. Maybe I'll uh, glue it onto something. This one here wasn't doing so well, but it looks like a, it's getting some colors. And same with the one behind it. That's so. So here's a good example of how things are doing well in this tank. I bought this rock, this little piece, and then Monte Bro, and then it's just grown all over the rock. Same with the, this white one, growing over the rocks. That's only been a f I don't know two three months. Same with this one. Oh, and this piece here is a new one as well. And it's already growing over the rock. This little one broken too, so I re glued both pieces. I don't know why they break, I just find them broken every once in a while. I think it's probably the, uh, the tang that swims to them or something, I'm, I'm not sure. He's doing really good. Oh, a bit of sand on that coral. I'll have to get that out. I just cleaned the glass, so I guess I knock sand into some corals. Mm -hmm. This this one has re fully recovered and it's doing re extremely well. Uh, this one here is doing well too. This is a new piece. Well, a few months now. So overall the tank is doing really well. Uh, I bought a fan it down and uh, works really good with the uh, open lid style while well, it has the screen so my fish don't jump out and I got this digital aquatic or reef keeper light I have the fan hooked to it and the air conditioner the air conditioner is right there it points at the uh, refugium so it cools the entire water down. I only have one light now on the refugium just to keep the temperature down for the summer. Puffer is doing good. Coral beauty. And oh, there's the uh, there's the eel. And um, 
the goby is still in there somewhere. He's doing fine. Oh yeah, he's at the back there. He's a bit tough to see. Behind the, the, the pile of rocks. Oh well. And this is the tank. 75 gallon. We've had to uh, fight flatworms, so maybe that's why some of the corals didn't do so well. So I bought this stuff here, flatworm exit. I highly recommend it if you ever get stuck with flatworms. Just make sure you uh, you make a, a water change. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, since the uh, fan, I added the fan, and the uh, evaporation of the water was a bit, uh, a bit more. So I built. Well, these are my tortoises, and I built a stand uh, so I can have a 20-gallon aquarium instead of a five-gallon bucket. And one of the advantages is I can see the wa water level in this tank, so I'm not uh, just guessing every day if, if I need to refill it. And it lasts for about a week and a half to two weeks. The, the five gallon bucket would, would only last three, four days. Uh, if you're wondering what this little light here is, and this one is uh, when the uh, when the auto top off goes off, the light goes on. It's kind of funny. I'll, I'll show you guys what happens. There we go. So I know it's uh, the water is going to the main tank. Alright, well, this, this one here, since I moved it at the top, towards the top of the tank, it's doing really good. So, you know, I lost this one, this bird's nest, but but then this bird's nest here on the other end is doing pretty good. So there's a little crab in there. I'll try to zoom in on it. Oh, you, well, you see one of the claw anyways. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the shaking. I'm not using my uh, the tripod today. I did turn the uh, MP40 down quite a bit. I, I was running it almost at three quarters when I first bought it. Now it's a, I don't know, a bit less than half, anyways. And it's a really powerful pump. So. Anyways, hope you enjoy this video. I'll make a few more updates in the future.